Hey guys, welcome back to the Flyscope Studio. My name is Alex Trujillo. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about our newly released Face Impact location. Face Impact location is available for all X3 users and will be an add-on availability for Mevo Plus Pro Package users. So I want to take you into the application. We're going to talk a little bit about the new look and feel of the app and where you can find that Face Impact location. We're going to head on over to the app. We're going to head over to a full swing session. And we now have five steps for setup. First step is to select your mode. You have a limited flight or an outdoor mode. Limited flight is anytime you will have a restricted ball flight, meaning that the ball will come in contact with a net or screen. In the outdoor mode is when the ball will not be restricted, i.e. your driving range or on the golf course. Second step is to set up your radar. You have your radar set up for your center to T and T surface height. Third step is going to be aligning your radar to a target. So in the target alignment screen, you will get target alignment with an area of interest or what we call the hitting area. Setup verification. Now in this step, it will require that you hit one shot. So we will hit one shot. And in this setup, it is going to tell us whether or not we have the correct lighting for face impact location. Once that shot is hit, you will see where the radar sees uh, ball contact and whether or not you have a good lighting for face impact location. Note on lighting. If you have less than 300 lumens, face impact location will not be available and your application will let you know that you must check your lighting conditions. Now the lighting conditions are, um, we wanna have them towards or over the hitting area. And like I mentioned before, it's 300 lumens or more. Fourth step will be adjusting your environment and you can select whether you wanna use standard sea level conditions or your local weather conditions of your environment. And then last but not least is gonna be setting up your session where you can enter your session name, you can enter multiple players, you can select the club that you will be hitting, and last but not least, you will select the ball with the new addition of the Titleist RCTs for indoor mode. Once in the session, how you will get to your face impact location will be navigating the four squares on the top right, You'll head over to Club Analysis and you will select Face Impact. You can now go ahead and hit your shots. We're going to go ahead and hit three shots so we have a grouping as well as a heat map. Thank you, Duncan. Now, my Face Impact location is going to show me two data parameters my vertical impact and my lateral impact off the geometric center of the club. If I want to see all the shots hit in this session, which was three, I can select all shots and it'll show me little dots of where my impact was, or I can go to heat map to see where I've been striking it the most on the face. So Duncan was a little toe bound on these three shots. Now, Every club is not made the same. You might have a blade or you might have a game improvement club and the head shapes are different. We give you the ability to actually adjust the width and height of that club, as well as being able to manually move the impact location if you have slight offsets. To do that, you're gonna go into calibration. You're gonna follow the simple steps for face impact calibration. And then you can physically move the location of impact or on the top right, you can click on adjust, follow the instructions, and then here you can actually change the head height and width. Once you've calibrated that, it will store it for that particular club into that particular player profile or session. If you have any more questions on face impact, please feel free to contact us. You can reach us at support at flyscopemevo.com. Uh, or you can uh, live chat to us on our website at flightscopenevo.com. Thanks again, and we'll see you soon.